Today we've got a pickups video. Uh, pickups video and an apology. <laughs> yeah, there's a box here. It's it's fucking mullered. Um, backstory, backstory. Marcus is watching. I know he loves a backstory, so we'll drag this one out as long as possible. Uh, as I mentioned, been to Greece. Uh, whilst I was away, whilst I was away, parcel was delivered. Now I've been having an ongoing dispute with my local post office. Uh, the sim, <laughs> I have. Big gates, big fence, big dog. Yeah. Um, don't want anything putting over the gates. I've told them repeatedly not to put stuff over the gates. For those interested, I'll put a picture of our Dexter in here now. So you can see the sort of dog that's looking after all this shit. Yeah, put it in there. Anywho, so big gates, all locked up. Don't come in the back garden. Can't get in the back garden. It's impossible. <laughs> My new postman... It's determined to put stuff over the gates yeah so uh, last month maybe a month before quite an expensive Amiga title over the gates everyone's at work you know I told them just take it back to the post office I, I put the card through the letterbox put the card through the letterbox I will come pick it up when I've got time doesn't don't put it over the gates big dog there's a sign on the gates big dog anyway Put the game, put the game, put the box over the gates. Uh, Dexter decided the box must contain cats. Everything's got cats in as far as he's concerned. He likes cats. You know? He cries because next door's cat will not come in the garden and play with him. He just wants a cat. Anyway, so he decides the box has a cat in it. Opens the box. No cats. Double checks. Destroys the Amiga game. Uh, no cats. Dexter's upset. I'm really upset. I'm really pissed off. Told the post office. Told them, told them, told them. Don't. Take them to the neighbours. Neighbours are quite happy. My neighbours are retired. They're quite happy to take mail in for us. Yeah. Just take it next door. Or take it back to the post office. Anyway. We're going really round on a tangent here. <laughs> As usual. Didn't listen. This. This. Went over the gates. Now luckily. Dexter decided it was too small to be cats. So he's ignored it. But while we've been in Greece and drinking and eating too much and enjoying the sun, it's been pissing it down here. So this has been outside in the rain for weeks. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what this is. Um, I could just make out my address. I've torn off what's left of it so I don't get any stalkers or animal parts delivered or anything like that. Um, yeah, but couldn't really make it out what it said on it. I don't know if there was a, a message. So I don't know who this is from. Genuinely don't know this is from. I don't know what it is. It's heavy and it feels like hopefully it's in one piece. I'm hoping it's not anything mechanical or electrical because it's it got it was very wet. I've, I've left it here for days just to dry out. Anyway, so we're gonna open that first. Uh apologies, as I said. What else we got? Not a lot. Uh really slowing down now. Really slowing down. We're really getting we're running out of room, getting to the fine edge of the collection. Uh, I think uh, Men Stuart mentioned this, Tooty, he mentioned this on his last video. Um, I'm not the same collector. Stuart's <laughs> right up here compared to, I collect, you know, lower down, lower tier stuff. But still, when you get towards the end, it gets harder and you get pickier. So it's, yeah, there's pickup videos aren't going to be as often. Yeah, <laughs> there's not a lot of left. There's not a lot of room and not a lot of left on the list. Anyway, what have we got? Um, we've got a lot of Amiga. Well, not a lot of Amiga. It looks like a lot. That's because the boxes are so fucking big. <laughs> yeah, it's not a lot of Amiga. We've got some Amiga. Some, for me, personal favourites. I've replaced the Amiga game that Dexter destroyed. Uh, I'm cu currently trying to get my cash back from post office and this, that, and so that. It's not as good as the one. The one I got was mint. This one's a bit... Mm, but you'll have to do. Uh, I find it with the Amiga stuff. It's 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 not as common as I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, I, I'm I'm looking for either Lotus Two or XJ Two Twenty now, um, and they're not coming up. And I thought that that was one of the staples back then. I thought it'd be cheapest chips and there'd be a thousand copies, and there really isn't. There's a Mullard XJ Two Twenty and there's a Mullard uh, Lotus Two for silly money. Uh, neither of them. I want yeah no um, but yeah there's only room for one 
and I'm not bothered which it is. As far as I'm concerned, my opinion is both as good. XJ220 has the level editor and that beautiful Jag Lotus as the brilliant intro. Yeah, I want one, I'm not bothered which. Uh, it's a case of which one turns up in best condition. Yeah, and cheapest. Because <laughs> I'm tight as fuck. Anyway, enough of the swearing. Let's get on with the video. So we've got some Amiga. We've got a thing, which uh, I'm going to save till last. Because uh, <laughs> I just like to do that. Yeah, we've got a thing in a box. Uh, we've got some Fugly N64 that Stu already knows about because uh, we've talked about this. It's been sat here ages. I think he even alluded into his video when he showed it that he knew somebody else who had it. But it was me. <laughs> the person who hates the N64. Uh, yeah. And what else have we got? We've got last two Xbox replacements. So the, uh, they're not called Platinum's, are they? Not the Xbox. Got the classics. The classics are all gone now. And the Xbox collection is all manualed up and all done, and I can forget about that. And finally, we've got the last PlayStation 2 game I needed, uh, had to have. Uh, so that's put to bed and all. But I won't be showing that. I don't think anybody needs to see PlayStation 2. Yeah. Uh, no. I mean, if you do, it's in the comments section, but I, I don't think I'm going to show it. Uh, there's other systems that people find more interesting that I'm sure you'd rather see. Anyhow, shall we crack on? Shall we crack on? We'll start with the Amiga. Um, this will be the last big Amiga haul for me. As I said, out of room, room for one, maybe two games, and then that's it. Uh, I wish I'd left more room for the Amiga. Uh, in retrospect, I should maybe have started with the Specky and the Amiga. Um, I have considered letting some stuff go and carrying on with the Amiga, but then I'm, I've thought about it and I'm sort of going away from the direction I started. I know a lot of people refocus and change what they're doing. I've tried to stick to my guns, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep going and stop. Yeah, cold turkey. <laughs> I don't know. It's just bollocks. Nobody's listening. Uh, what we got first then? Let's get on with this. Yeah, because we must be a good five minutes in, and all I've done is talk shit. Council pop still. Council pop. Back into the 14s. Yeah. Yeah, we were a good 15 and a half after the holiday. <laughs> Back down to the 14s now. Just got water on my face. Yeah. It's not Stella. <laughs> yeah, so what we got? Um, new old stock. We might as well start with... Ooh. Yeah, new old stock. Uh, really happy to get this. Z-Wolf. It's um, a helicopter flight sim shooter. Yeah, all in uh, 3D. It's basically... Uh, I'll show you the graphics. It's basically um, Desert Strike in 3D. But to be honest, it's, it's a lot slower. <laughs> yeah, uh, the Amiga chugged a bit with this one. But it uh, looked amazing back in the day. Um, a chap, I don't know if he was a regular watcher or if he just came across my videos. But a chap in the, uh, the last Amiga pickups video said he was currently remaking this. But he didn't say for what system. I presume for the Switch or uh, the PC thing. Uh, I don't know, but um, yeah, be interesting to see this running at a decent rate. Uh, it might have been better on the uh, A1200. Um, it's a slip cover. Most people like this sort of thing. With a very boring brown. No, it's not brown, is it? <laughs> very boring black box inside. Uh, and then we've got untouched instructions, uh, sealed disc, et, diskette, and a little bit of paper. It says returns. It's incorrect. Oh, no, no, no. Right, if you don't work, I can send it back. <laughs> yeah, send it back. Uh, and I'm a good friend, Rod. Uh, he tried to get something from uh, an old bit of paper like that recently. Didn't get anywhere. <laughs> Didn't get anywhere. But it was funny to see him try. Yeah, slip cover back on. Yeah, super mint that. Um, that's just come straight out of a box. We're going to start at the back and we'll work his way forward. Oh, this! How can you have a box that don't stand up? Oh, that's not a very good start. So I'm already pissed off with Z-Wolf. Next, again, this is no old stock. Um, this box is hard to find in good condition because it's it's not very thick. It's uh, 
It's a 3D isometric uh, racing game. Uh, Skid Marks, for those who haven't played it. I know it came out on the uh, Mega Drive. I don't think it came out on the SNES. Somebody will tell me I'm wrong in the comments section. <laughs> they usually do. Uh, yeah, six Skid Marks. Very similar to Super Off Road, Super Sprint, that sort of thing. Uh, great fun. Uh, inside, we've got just discs and the manual. But again, I like the date it came out of the shop. I mean, I mean, <laughs> there's not a mark on that. Is that one going to stand up? Yes. I love this sort of thing. Uh, Super Off Road Racer. That's one that doesn't seem to turn up on the Amiga. I presume I'd just hover that one straight up. Can't find it. Indie Heat, another one. Don't see it. Um, yeah. I'm really finding the Amiga a strange system to collect for. Things I thought would be commonplace aren't. And things that I thought would be loads of, uh, be rarer. Um, it's just everywhere. Yeah, yeah, weird one. Next. Next. A train. This would cheap be this. Uh, really happy. Um, bit of yellowing. I'm sure the box. I mean, I'm really going back here now. I'm sure the box should be whiter. But. Uh, Ways to turn this really late, really, really late ocean game. Um, basically, it's like SimCity, but it's more train based, which you probably guess from the title. Yeah, you build, you build your infrastructure, your trains, and try and keep the city moving. I played this for hours, uh, and I was always rubbish. I'd always get, I'd get to the point where the city would be so big, and then I'd, it just became unwieldy. Yeah, but that was probably me. Um, in here, you've got the diskettes. Um, a thing and then a mahusive manual <laughs> that, that no one was ever going to read um, different trains oh, lots of trains yeah telling you all about the history of trains steam trains uh, yeah yeah that section that section is a book in itself just telling you about the history of the train <laughs> yeah which is a bit bonkers we used to get stuff like that in the day back in the day people really cared about the manuals, not like now. Um, and then it's just telling you how to play the game. I'd probably have done better if I hadn't have had a dodgy copy back in the day. <laughs> Actually, had the manual. Yeah. Uh, so that's A Train. As I said, very similar to SimCity and that ilk, but I preferred this, even though I've shit at it. And there we go. Personal favourite, this. And a great box. Um, Hated the first game. I don't know if anyone's played James Pond. It's totally different from the sequel. James Pond 2. Yeah. Codename Robocod. <laughs> part man. No, no, no. Part robot, part fish. Yeah. Bonkers idea. <laughs> yeah. You played the chap there, but you could you could press fire, I think, and it, it splits and it's, it stretched right up and get to platforms that you, you couldn't obviously jump to. Yeah. Uh, and, and he'd keep going up and up and up until he reached the platform or until a baddie touched him and then he'd fall back down. Yeah, um, great game. Great game. Uh, does anybody remember? Here's a question for those still watching. Does anyone remember the starting screen cheat that gave you something like 100 lives? Yeah. In the comment section, what was it? <laughs> yeah, I'm not telling you. I might tell you you're right, but I'm not telling you. Uh, yeah, love this. Love this. I didn't like the first one, as I think I just mentioned. It was a, a single screen, uh, sort of arcadey, bubbly, bubbly, but shit game. Yeah. Uh, and then there was a third one. But I wasn't keen on the third one either. That the, the character was bigger, took too much room up in the screen. And then I think there was a there was a button basher uh, called the Aquatic Games, which I think came out on the Mega Drive. Uh, yeah, that was one where it was all just games, like Olympic games, but based in the Robocop, no, so the James Pond world. Yeah, um, it was sponsored this. Who was it sponsored by? Oh, Penguins, the biscuit. Yeah, you had to collect Penguin, the biscuits. There's a penguin on the back there. Uh, I'm on the, front, on the front. Yeah, uh, you had to collect Penguin biscuits. You got a few games back in the day that were sponsored. What we got? Uh, super minty manual disc and a register register card for Millennium or the company who produced it uh, I always get the urge to fill these in I'm pretty sure it'd be a pointless exercise yeah 
fairly sure I finish, finished this back in the day, but the cheat I was on about, I'm fairly sure I used. Another one that does not want to. We'll go that way. You'll have to turn your head. <laughs> what we got next? The greatest. I don't care what you say, Stu. I do not care. This is the greatest football game ever. Yeah? This one. Not that stupid Dino Dini thing. Sensible soccer. <laughs> now, I'm not much of a footballer. I never really played FIFA apart from the early ones, like the Mega Drive ones. Um, played a few football games in the arcade, but I loved this. Um, I don't even know who that chap is. Don't know who he is. I presume he's somebody famous. I should know. Yeah, this is a great game. Music, the music on this was by Captain Sensible. Um, bonus points for anybody who knows what other song he did and what game it was in. Yeah, bonus points. <laughs> Competition time. Yeah, what are we going here? Uh, again, uh, it's just, it's just manual, telling you how to play football, and a couple of discs. Yeah, um, sensible soccer. Played this for hours. Two player, I don't think you could get better. I, I, I will argue with anybody, this is still the greatest football game ever created. Yeah, sensible soccer. And that one will, will it? One of these days they're all going to fall down. That will stand up. <laughs> Let's have a wet. Ugh, it's foul. Next, we've got the game I spoke about earlier. Originally, I got a minter of this from Evil Bay. Uh, Dexter thought it was cats and ate it. So... This is the copy I've had to make do with. It does not come up very often. This is a great game. Um, it's a bit battered at the top there. Uh, and also on that side and that. I, I'm going to try and straighten this out. Um, the game is Wings. <laughs> I didn't mention it. Um, it's how to describe it. It's a second world war. No, it's not. It's a first world war shooter in which you play uh, a pilot. Um, you really get invested in your pilot as well because if you die, he's dead. <laughs> it shows you a roster of all the pilots and it will say, dead. And <laughs> you have to start again. Um, it's, it's basically three shooters in one. You've got, you've got a 3D shooter where you're in the biplane and you have to shoot down uh, enemy pilots uh, and not get shot. <laughs> yeah. And then you also have a top view where you have to uh, bomb certain buildings not get shot and then the third level is sort of an isometric view uh, you're working your way down enemy lines and you have to take out trains and uh, convoys and stuff and it's all just blended into one but as I remember you never knew which level were going to be next and sometimes it'd be convoys and trains sometimes you'd be on 3d level um, great tune cinema cinema where this they did uh, what else did they do that shit film with a guy with a jetpack on his back set in the 40s. Oh, what was it called? Anyway, they did that one. Summit Ranger. Ranger Summit. I don't know. And uh, it came from the desert, which is brilliant. Uh, in here, in here we have got, I'll try and open the box. We've got diskettes, two books. Uh, we've got a personal combat simulator book and a book that says wings <laughs> yeah um i've not even looked in these uh, it's quite interesting this this is telling you this is as with the uh, other book this is more about the, the history of the second world war planes and uh it needs restapling <laughs> staples have gone uh sort that out uh, yeah this is more about the history of the second world war so I presume this is more about um, playing the game. Yes, it is. Yes, this tells you about playing the game. Uh, we don't need to read that. We don't need to read that. <laughs> we'll carefully put that back on because it's a bit mullered. Uh, wings. Next, we have got... I flitter back and forth between which I would class as the best point and click adventure on the Amiga. Sometimes it's Monkey Island and sometimes it's um, the game I've forgotten the name of. Simon the Sorcerer. Yeah. I can never decide. I can never decide. But I have Simon the Sorcerer for the CD32 and it's the best version because it has the uh, Chris Barry theme tune. I mentioned it in my last video. In fact, I think I showed it. 
So, I decided for the Amiga, I'd get Monkey Island, because I don't own it. Does that make sense? I think so. Anyway, so this is Monkey Island. As you can see, it's the Kicks version. Um, it's cheaper than the full price version. This was a re-release, a budget re-release. Uh, don't care um, it's still in a big box and uh, this is the version I had back in the day yeah some people had want the original version and then they buy the kicks version as well because it's a variant but I'm not that mad <laughs> it comes on four diskettes unlike Simon the Sorcerer which I think came with 12 and we get a little book about the game uh, is there anything interesting here no no, nothing interesting there. So it's point and click, uh, really funny, really quirky. Um, we want to be a pirate. There's a guy called uh, the Chuck, <laughs> and uh, he's di digging now. Uh, he's dead in it. Yeah, he's a zombie pirate, and uh, I think we end up having to take him out. Okay, so, yeah, so that's Monkey Island, and that's gonna go there. Finally, um, I alluded to this in my last video. I knew this was in the post. Been looking for a decent copy of this for ages. This, this is my favourite Amiga game. This, if, if I had, if I had to be on a desert island with my Amiga, this is the game I'd take. Um, I'd say it's in. If I had to do a top ten games, it'd be in the top ten. I, this game, I'm really building this up now. <laughs> this game um, was the reason I failed all my exams at school and ended up having to do an extra year at college. Yeah, yes, yeah, so this cost me. 12 months of my life <laughs> yeah the game i'm talking about is the settlers um this is how would you describe this it's it's sort of an rts mixed with um sim city um with a bit of uh strategy and management all rolled in setting uh Sort of a medieval setting with uh, comedy thrown in as well yeah it's all that in one game uh, you basically have to take control of the entire map and you have to get resources like coal and iron and gold to make weapons and you have to farm and you have to attack the baddies base will be expanding out at the same rate um, it's such a great game such a great game actually I've just noticed Someone's writ. They haven't written on the box, but they've written on something, and it's come through. Uh, <laughs> let's see if I can. Emma Hicks, Hen, and it's got a phone number. <laughs> I might have to ring that. Lou. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's open this up. Let's open this up. Gingerly. It's in pretty good condition. This a bit of wear. Inside you get a cardboard box. Yeah, a lot of these are missing or mullered, or you don't get the sleeve. Um, it's, it's really I I had this on copy. <laughs> I had to work out how to play this game. Um, you get. Let's see if I can do this. I can't do this. You get these cards with the discs in, like so. And then you get at the bottom of the box uh, a reference card, a uh, there's a picture of all the different buildings and all the different settlers. One of them, and then a mahusive instructions manual that tells you. Well, it's all blank pages. It tells you about the game. Um, one thing, one thing I remember about playing the Settlers is it liked to crash, <laughs> and it took some loading, so you had to save a lot. Yeah, you had to save a lot because you'd you'd forget, and you'd get engrossed, and you'd get an hour down the road, and poof, it went off, and you, <clears throat> yeah. So, so that Settlers, yeah, that is my. I'm not going to try and put it all back in the box. I'll just put the sleeve up here. Yeah, that is my favourite Amiga game. And it's not gonna yes it is nah. what else we got n64 we'll go in 64 now mentioned this earlier still picked this up last week last week now it's weeks since it's been here it's been, must this must have been here two months it's san francisco rush extreme racing um 
great condition this came in a box protector it's all in there shall i get it out does it be care i'll get it out i'll get it out it's not gonna be a long video on this yeah um i'm not putting it back in though it's uh it's been attracted by a game at some point. It's got a pre-owned sticker. I'm not taking it off because behind it there's the barcode that they've written on. Because the bastards. Uh, yeah. Um, not. I played this in the arcade. I didn't even know till Stu showed the sequel that this had made it to the N64. I used to love this in the arcade. I really got high hopes that I won't hate this. Um, which ends the open end. It's not that end. I always get the wrong end. It's not that end. I'm under pressure now. <laughs> yeah it's it's a really good necklace i did overpay i did overpay uh, because some sod outbid me on the my first copy and on my second copy and i think personally another rant another tangent i think ebay are missing a trick i think they should uh, do like a tier where people pay a couple of quid a month and as well as just messaging the sellers of the stuff you can message the people you're bidding against because I want to curse them. Yeah, I think it'd really take off. I think eBay could make a lot of money if you could, like, if somebody outbid you and you could message him and go, you're a bastard, that's mine. <laughs> yeah, I think it'd be fun. Um, as I said, I think this has come off a collector. Uh, the, that's, what's that? What's that? Yeah. It's, uh, it's all bagged up. Um, there's a tiny little split there, but these, the sneeze and these break. And uh, like I said, it's in great condition. I'm not going to try and put all that back. Um, as I said, really got my hopes up for this one. Really got my hopes up for this one. If it's shit, um, I'm going to blame Stu. Yeah, blame Stu. Why not? <laughs> Xbox. Only a couple. Uh, I had these as... I said it earlier. It's not classics. And now it won't come. It's not classics. I said it at the start of the video. And now I've forgotten. Anyway, whatever the cheap versions of the Xbox, the re-releases are, I, I had burnout. This took ages to find. This was a pig. It's not expensive. It just doesn't come up for some reason. Loads, loads of the word I can't remember. Loads of them. They're all over eBay. But you can't find the original release. Um, great condition. Oh, just don't like the re-releases on the Xbox. So I wanted rid of it and got burnout. And it's not going to stand can't be asked now. Then the second one, uh, when I did my Xbox video, I found that Dragon's Lair was missing the manual. So I looked for ages for the manual, couldn't find it. In the end, this came up cheap, so I just replaced the game. And that's still got a bit of sticky on it. Uh, again, great condition. There was nothing wrong with mine, just missing the manual. Uh, my good friend Sean, that's your games revived. He's collecting Dragon's Lair stuff at the minute. So I've promised him my copy when I bump into him next. So that's the Xbox. Fucking done. Next we've got the last PlayStation game I wanted on my list. Uh, another one that doesn't come up very often. Uh, it took a while to, to find this. I don't know why I'm obsessed with these. As collectors, a lot of us are. Um, it's Capcom Classics Collection Volume 2. I can play all these games on the arcade machine. And yet I've bought this to play them on the PlayStation 2. Which I won't do. <laughs> yeah, it's got it's got 941 Avengers, Black Tiger, blah 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 blah, Strider, Super Street Fighter. I could play these many many other ways. Uh, I don't need this, and yet I bought it. Yeah, all complete, nice condition. PlayStation Two done. Forget about that. Right, final thing. As I said at the start, don't know what's in the box. Um, I'm hoping it wasn't alive when it was posted because it's been there a long time it will be dead and if it's anything <laughs> but chances are whatever it is it's dead <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna have to apologize uh as i said oh, let's just get it open i can't find my knife so we're just gonna have to go for it and i hope that i don't damage anything inside the box that i can't get into beyond me oh no we're in no we're not there's another box <laughs> there's another box within the box wheels within wheels <laughs> i know what this is 
I've forgotten all about this. I do have to apologise. I can get in. Mother. Who wrapped this? This. No, no. No, no. This is from Goldtooth. Goldtooth Gaming. I will put a link in the description. Um, I love a mug. I forgot he did. What did he do? What did he do? It's been that long. It'll, it'll have been somewhat odd. Did he do? Did he do a competition? Or I can't remember. Anyway, he did a thing, and then a friend Ed reached out to me because uh, Goldtooth didn't have my number, and said I'd, <laughs> he wanted to send me a mug. <laughs> yeah, love that. And uh, I just forgot. Yeah, so this has been sat. This has been sat in the rain for weeks. I, uh, if you watch this, mate, I am very sorry. Uh, hopefully, we'll, don't live far from me. Hopefully, we'll meet up again soon. Um, maybe go to uh, Thingy at Doncaster. What's it called? The game shop. Yeah, maybe meet up there soon in the future. Um, I will not be drinking Stella from this because Stella sh tastes shit in a mug. But uh, <laughs> we will have tea. We will have tea. I do love a mug. I've got a fair few behind the camera. People have sent. I uh, got one from Ed not not long since. Uh, yeah, thank you, mate. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. All that's left for me to do is put all this shit away. And <laughs> I've mullered all over the place. Um, memories about any of these games. Uh, pissed about that wings. Honestly, the the copy I had before were minty. Uh, I'm gonna put all this shit away now, and then never play it again. I might actually put Rush, might put Rush on that screen and ignore it while I play something else. Uh, yeah, that might be a plan. <laughs> yeah. Now, as I said, memories of any of these games, blah, 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 nobody cares. Uh, see you in the next one. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you. Thank you, GoTooth. Cheers, cop. Catch you later. Bye-bye.